Welcome guys, like I promised you last week, today I'm sharing how to make perfect French buttercream. French buttercream is my favorite buttercream. It is super rich, uh, creamy, not too sweet. It is just my go-to buttercream that I use all the time. But at the same time, I often see, for example, articles saying that it tastes great, but it is the most difficult buttercream to make. Or I hear people saying all the time that um, they've never tried it before because it seems really difficult to make. So today I'm sharing step by step how you can make it from scratch. And hopefully by the end of this video, you are not overwhelmed with the technique anymore. And I can prove to you that it is not that difficult to make. And hopefully I can encourage you to try it in your own kitchen. So if that sounds good, let's get started. For other tutorials on how to make beautiful pastries from scratch, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video every week. Also, if you like this video, please let me know by liking it and commenting it below and give me some cheers. All right, so let's start from cracking eggs because we need a lot of yolks. But before we move on, let me start from explaining what exactly French buttercream is. French buttercream is called pot a bomb buttercream in another word. That is because it is made with butter and a thing called pot a bomb. It is French word that I can never pronounce right, but sometimes people call it pot a bomb to make it sound a little bit easier. But it is basically creamy egg yolk forms that is made with egg yolks and cooked syrup. So once you know exactly how to make the pot de bomb, French buttercream is not difficult to make at all. You just have to mix that with your butter. By the way, you're gonna end up having lots of egg white left, but you can save it in a freezer so that you can make meringue, macaron, siphon cake, or any other desserts that use a lot of egg white. All right, so let's start from making the pot de bomb. As I mentioned, it is made with egg yolks and cooked syrup. I always start from whipping my egg yolks and make it super fluffy, and it takes some time. So while I'm whipping that up, I usually make my cooked syrup at the same time. So add your sugar in the water. And for part of bomb, you usually heat up your syrup up to 115 Celsius, which is 239 Fahrenheit. But here's what I do. I usually heat up up to around 118 Celsius, which is 244 Fahrenheit. That is because I want my pot of bomb to be a little bit more stiffer so that my buttercream holds the shape in a room temperature even more. And here's your egg yolks. It is super fluffy and creamy. It is ready. All right, so right after your syrup is ready, you want to add that to your fluffy egg yolks. You want to make sure that your mixer is on high speed and add that slowly from the side of your bowl. Once you added all the syrup, you want to keep whipping and whipping until it cools down to room temperature. Touch your bowl and check. It should be slightly warm or you don't feel anything. And that takes some time. So usually while I'm whipping that pot of bomb, I prepare my butter. Make sure your butter is nice and soft. It is a crucial for your buttercream. If it's cold, it is not gonna brand well. Add salt and make sure that your butter is nice and creamy. And I personally like to whip my butter really well. That is because I love fluffy and airy buttercream that really melts in your mouth. But that's really your preference. It is your choice. So if you prefer less airy, 
a little bit heavier buttercream, then you don't need to whip this much. This is still just butter, but look how creamy and it looks so delicious by itself. And your pot of bomb is ready as well. It is so creamy and silky. It is ready to be mixed with your butter. All right, so here is already our last process, which is adding your pot of bomb into a butter and whip. So I usually don't add pot bomb all at once. I divide into two or three times and whip well each time. By the way, the other day on Instagram, I asked my followers what type of buttercream they usually use. You know, we have French buttercream, Italian buttercream, American buttercream, Swiss buttercream. I think those fours are most popular but I found out that Swiss buttercream is most used by them. And it was so interesting to know. You know, I always love to hear everybody's opinion. So let me know what type of buttercream you usually use and why you love it. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, please do and join those conversations. Always clean up your bowl, especially toward the end so that you can make sure everything is nicely blended. And your French buttercream is complete. It is super smooth, fluffy, and so rich. I love this buttercream. You can use for any type of desserts such as macaroon filling, uh, cake frosting, decorations, and so on. And I'm going to save this buttercream for next week to make my cake. Let me know if you feel like you want to try this this weekend or sometime soon. And um, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask me on a comment below and I'll be happy to answer. So congratulations, you've made through the tutorial. And now you know how to make perfect buttercream and butter cake to complete your celebration cake. By the way, if you haven't watched yet, watch this video I made last week where I explain how to make super moist vanilla butter cake that I'm going to use next week. And I'm so excited that finally on next week we are making a cake. You know, uh, finally we can do something a little bit more exciting, a little bit more uh, eye-catching to really inspire you and excite you. So the cake I'm making next week is for my baby's birthday. She's turning two next week. And I'm making unicorn lion cake. How cool is that? And how weird is that? I had two ideas, uh, lion cake or unicorn cake, but I could not decide. So I thought, why don't I just put them together? And I love the idea. Stay tuned and you're gonna see everything next week. Uh, you're gonna see if it looks amazing or... So, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next week.